This video was made in collaboration with Narutopedia. For more information, check out the link in the description. The Life of Kiba Inazuka from Naruto Kiba Inazuka is a member of Konohagakure's Inazuka clan and a member of Team Koronai. Despite his headstrong and at times egotistic attitude, Kiba is loyal to his comrades and will do anything to protect them with his trusted canine companion Akamaru by his side. Welcome to the Amagi! In today's video, we're going over the life of Kiba Inazuka. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Background At a very young age, Akamaru was given to Kiba by his mother, Sume, and the two became very close soon afterwards. Before entering the academy, Kiba and Akamaru played together a great deal, resulting in Sume getting angry because they weren't training enough. During Kiba's time at the academy, he often cut class with Akamaru, stating that he wasn't suited to sit still at a desk or otherwise getting into trouble, along with Choji Akamichi, Shikamaru Nara, and Naruto Uzumaki. Together, these four would skip class and go to the practice hall, not to practice. They thought it was fun to also test the patience of Iruka Umino, their academy instructor. One day, Kiba fell asleep during class, and upon waking, saw Naruto attempting to use the transformation technique to turn into the third Hokage for the first time, and failing twice. This caused Kiba to find Naruto incompetent, and he became among those who ridiculed him. At some time in the past, Kiba knew his father, but because of his mother's attitude, Sume scared him away, leaving him with just her and his sister, Hana Inuzuka. Despite this, Kiba stays in a close relationship with his mother and sister, although he seems to agree that Sume is rather frightening. Chunin Exams During the first phase of the Chunin Exams, Kiba used Akamaru to spy on the other examinee's tests and tell him the answers. During the second phase of the exam, while Team 8 easily took an Earth Scroll from a rival team, Kiba wished to acquire yet another to narrow down the competition, despite Shino and Hinata's reservations. While investigating a confrontation between two teams, they witnessed Gara killing three Amegakure Genin, with Akamaru being traumatized by the amount of power he sensed from Gara. Kiba was matched against Naruto in the seventh match of the preliminaries. Kiba thought that he would easily win since Naruto had been the worst student at the academy. Naruto then became extremely annoyed at Kiba's low opinion of him. While Kiba initially had an advantage due to his superior speed and strengthening Akamaru with the military rations pill, Naruto tricked him into knocking Akamaru unconscious, and then, after farting in Kiba's face, overwhelming his sense of smell and disorienting him, defeated him with the Naruto Uzumaki combo. Kiba regained consciousness on the stretcher and urged Hinata to forfeit if she was matched against Gara or Neji Hyuga. A month later, at the finals, Kiba watched the match between Naruto and Neji with Hinata. He appeared to have gained respect for Naruto at this point, as when he heard Izumo and Kotetsu doubting Naruto's abilities to win, Kiba remembered how he had thought the same thing during his own match with Naruto, and had ended up losing. He also loudly cheered for Naruto during the match. After Kabuto healed Hinata when she began coughing up blood, he rendered Kiba unconscious. In the anime, he was about to recognize him, leaving him unable to assist the Konoha ninja during the invasion. Konoha Crush Kiba can be seen at the third Hokage's funeral alongside the other villagers that are mourning his death. Sasuke Recovery Mission As a request from Shikamaru, Kiba was the only member from his team to participate in the task of stopping Sasuke Uchiha from defecting from Konoha. Kiba was lined in front of the group due to the fact that he knows most of the Land of Fire's terrain, and with a sense of smell he could not only track Sasuke's scent, he could also detect the enemy's scent to avoid any traps in the way. Kiba smelled the sound 4 and proceeded to attack, but they were trapped by Jirobo. After escaping, Neji and Choji stayed behind, fighting their corresponding opponent. Kiba and the others continued their pursuing for Sasuke, and soon they caught up with Sakon and Toyuya and engaged them in battle. After Naruto seized the container holding Sasuke, Akamaru set off a bunch of exploding tags, but one with the result of knocking Kiba along with Sakon and Ukon off a cliff. Kiba and Akamaru started fighting them, but when Sakon and Ukon pushed their cursed seal into level 2, their power increased in such a huge way, leaving Kiba and Akamaru with the only option to use their new technique, human-beast combination transformation, double-headed wolf. Despite using this technique and their fang wolf fang, the brothers were able to block their attack with summoning Rashomon. With the wolf transformation dispersed, Akamaru was attacked and left heavily injured along with Sakon for the meantime. Ukon merged himself with Kiba's body thanks to his special technique. Not having any options, Kiba stabbed himself in the stomach, causing him and Ukon to start coughing up blood. 
Kiba found Akamaru and retreated frantically, fearing for their lives, hoping to escape the brothers. Kiba smelled three other individuals, which were later shown to belong to the three Sand siblings. Kiba and Akamaru were saved by Konkuro, who trapped and killed the brothers with his puppets. Kiba was wounded with severe but not life-threatening lacerations, but Akamaru had suffered much harsher damage. Tendons in all four of his legs had been ripped, and his sister, Hana Inuzuka, told them he wouldn't be able to take walks for a while. After Akamaru recovered, Kiba swore to never let anything happen to him again. Bikochu Search Mission In the anime, Kiba, Hinata, Shino, and Naruto were sent on a mission to find a Bikochu beetle, which could be used to track down Sasuke Uchiha. They went to the forest where the Bikochu was, but there were some ninja of the Kamizuru clan watching them who wanted the insect too. After Hinata was able to locate and capture the insect, she was taken prisoner by the Kamizuru clansmen, to be used as an exchange for the Bikochu. Kiba and the others went to rescue her, but tried to trick the Kamizuru into giving them Hinata before they gave up the Bigochu. They were tricked too, being attacked by the Kamizuru when they met and subsequently trapped in a cave. Hinata was able to rescue them, but the mission failed when Naruto farted and the smell made the beetle attracted to Naruto's behind. Academy Student-Led Mission In the anime, Kiba was assigned to lead a team of three Academy students on a survival exercise. His time with them was not covered much, except that he was doing better than Naruto. Gosun Kugi Capture Mission In the anime, Kiba, Hinata, and Naruto were assigned the easy task of capturing a crook. In searching for information about the crook, they met Sazanami, who was pursuing the thief too. Sazanami told them that the thief, Gosun Kugi, was a dangerous killer and also a skilled ninja. Sazanami said he didn't want any competition and rendered them all unconscious. When he was later wounded fighting Gosun Kugi, they took him to safety, in turn discovering that he was also a wanted criminal. The bounty hunter revealed that he had been framed for murdering a family, and that the thief that he and Kiba's group were hunting was the culprit. Kiba, Naruto, and Hinata located the thief in a nearby city, in the process of attempting to steal a valuable bell. Sazanami arrived, and the four began fighting with the allies of Gosun Kugi which actually was just a trap to capture them while the thief stole the bell. Sazanami captured the thief, but he was suddenly captured by another hunter, only for Sazanami to be proven innocent in the end. Despite this, Kiba's group failed the mission because they did not capture the thief. Buried Gold Excavation Mission In the anime, Naruto, Kiba, and Hinata were once again teamed together, this time to find a treasure chest. They were given a mission to test their teamwork and told they would return to the academy if they failed this mission like they had their previous ones. They were ambushed during the mission and were trapped by three people who could copy their identities, smells, and thoughts. Working together, the group escaped from a cave-in with the treasure, but discovered that Hinata had injured her leg. After realizing that Naruto and Kiba argued too often while Hinata worried for the others too much, they headed into town to stop their copies. When they arrived at Konoha, Kiba defeated his and Hinata's copies, but the one of Naruto was still on the run and causing a lot of trouble. The three Genin learned that the mission was a test to see if they could work together as a team, and they passed it with honors. Akamaru Monitoring Mission After Akamaru was infected with a biological weapon that caused him to go berserk, Kiba believed that Naruto was trying to find and kill Akamaru, and attempted to take Akamaru out of Konoha. Kiba eventually stopped resisting when he learned of Naruto and Hana's true intentions, but was paralyzed by the prospect that their plan might still require them to kill Akamaru. He eventually regained his senses and appealed to Akamaru, and when Akamaru lunged, Kiba was able to administer the antidote. Kiba ended up severely injured. Kiba later noted that Akamaru had tried his best to miss anything vital and avoid killing Kiba. Lady Daimyo's Search Mission In the anime, Kiba, Hinata, and Naruto teamed up to find Kaio, the wife of the land of Hani's Daimyo. They find themselves investigating a mysterious haunted castle. They're ultimately successful in finding the Daimyo's wife. Prized Artifact Escort Mission In the anime, Kiba and Naruto are paired to escort Shinemon and his artifact. This mission is successful. Yakumo Kurama Rescue Mission In the anime, Kiba provides backup for Kurenai. Sunagakure Support Mission In the anime, when some ninja tried to steal Gara's power, Kiba and the rest of the Konoha 11, minus Tenten who was away on another mission at the time, were sent to help the Suna Nin. Kiba and Choji went to help Konkuro, in thanks for helping in the fight against Sakon and Ukon. Kiba defeated the enemy, and then they went to Gara's aid. After the Konoha Nin completed their mission and returned to the village, Naruto soon afterwards left to train under Jiraiya of the Sanin. Kiba found himself feeling jealous at Naruto's continued recent luck. Refusing to let Naruto beat him, Kiba became determined to outdo Naruto when he returned. 
Taking inspiration from Naruto's high proficiency in multiple shadow clones, Kiba decided to improve his combination transformation with Akamaru through usage of clones to increase its power. While soon realizing he didn't have enough chakra to maintain even a single clone while also uniting with Akamaru, Kiba strove to overcome this shortcoming. Working on his taijutsu skills and stamina to build up his chakra level, Kiba soon found an area Naruto had recently trained in covered in his scent. Kiba began using that area as a measuring stick for his training, deciding that he wouldn't stop training there until he covered the area with his own scent. Eventually, Kiba and Akamaru succeeded in perfecting their wolf form slash shadow clone combination. In Naruto's Footsteps, The Friend's Paths In the anime, about two years after Naruto left the village to train with Jiraiya, Konoha decided to host an early tuning exams alongside Tsunagakure. Once entering the exams, Kiba and his teammates were randomly split into three different rooms to take the written test. He was placed in room 3 with Sakura and Tenten. On a monitor, Shikamaru as a proctor explained that everyone only needs to answer one question on the test, but their team's combined score must equal exactly 100 points to pass. After hearing vibrations through the wall, Kiba, with the help of Sakura and Tenten, figured out that someone was trying to deliver a message of what question to pick by the number of vibrations. After time was up, Shikamaru revealed a bonus question, asking the individual which teammate you would sacrifice as a decoy. The answer had to be unanimous with the person picked being disqualified. Leaving the answer blank like his teammates, they ultimately passed the first round. Due to the many participants, however, a preliminary round had to be issued which involved a race to Tsunagakure, where only the first 30 teams to arrive at the destination would qualify for the second phase. Ultimately, his team were among the first 30 teams to make it. The following night, as all the genin were ready to eat dinner, everyone grew nervous about the overly sweaty Borami ruining the food, which caused the genin to quickly try and stop him, resulting in Neji using the 8 trigrams palms revolving heaven and accidentally destroying the food. As tension grew between everyone over the recent event, an all-out brawl began. Eventually, everyone lost their desire to fight when Fu arrived with her optimistic ways. The following day, the second exam began. Like the last exam in Konoha, the teams were each given either a heaven or earth scroll, and were required to obtain the missing scroll within three days. They were then required to bring the set to the main building in the center of the demon desert. Following a simple plan by Kiba, Team Koronai began talking loudly for all to hear, waiting for someone with a heaven scroll to come after them. Ultimately, the Kusa Nin team came after them. Kiba faced off against Borami, whose obese stature was used to his advantage, absorbing and repelling all of Kiba and Akamaru's attacks. Soon, the enemy realized Kiba had the Earth Scroll and together were able to steal it from him before retreating. As Team Koronai attempted to stop them, Borami blasted them with a foul-smelling smokescreen, impairing Kiba and Akamaru's sense of smell. While the enemy got out of Hinata's Byakugan range, Shino set one of his female insects on the enemy to track. While pursuing the enemy, Kiba and his teammates fell into a quicksand pit. Akamaru, however, was able to use his dynamic marking to solidify the sand enough for the team to escape. Once recovering, Team Koronai resumed their pursuit of the enemy. As Kiba and Akamaru continued following the scent, they soon found it multiplied and scattered throughout the area. When Shino's bugs failed to find the enemies as well and suggested going after other enemy scrolls, Kiba, finding his annoyance thinking about Naruto again, became determined not to fail. Then, realizing that Barami's scent was his clothes from their earlier scuffle, Kiba used it to find the real enemy. While back on the trail again, the enemies ambushed Team Koronai. While initially overwhelmed, the team swapped out of the predicament with Shino's insect clones, allowing them to regroup. Seeing through the enemy's tactics, Team Koronai quickly pressured the Kusa Nin before Kiba finished them off with his three-headed wolf technique, earning Team Koronai a heaven and earth scroll. Later, Team Koronai was caught in a massive sandstorm. Ultimately, the team was rescued by the Sunanin proctors and brought to a building to wait out the storm before resuming the exams. After the storm passed and the second exam was concluded, it was learned that the tuning exams were ended early due to controversy happening in the second exam. Instead, it was decided by Gara that a report on each participant would be sent to their respective village leader for them to decide if they'd be promoted. Upon returning to his village, Kiba and his team were all promoted to tuning status, to which Kiba voiced his joy at officially surpassing Naruto. Tenshi Bridge Reconnaissance Mission when Naruto returned to Konoha after rescuing Gara, Kiba appeared riding on a much larger Akamaru, but said he hadn't noticed Akamaru's growth due to him spending so much time with him. When Naruto asked Kiba to go on a mission with him, Kiba was forced to turn him down due to a mission he and his team had already been assigned. 12 Guardian Ninja In the anime, he got into an argument with Sora, a ninja monk in training from the Fire Temple who was visiting Konoha. 
After being calmed down, he, Sora, and the other Konoha 11 boys, excluding Neji, joined Asuma for lunch. Later, Kiba assisted in the defense of Konoha when Kazuma's army attacked. He was shown fighting alongside Rock Lee and Shoji, and was eventually joined by Shikamaru and Ino as the battle came to a close. Kiba led the team to where Naruto was confronting an enraged Sora, who revealed to be a pseudo Jinchuriki. There, they tried to stop Sora, but all failed in their attacks. Kiba was healed by Ino, and along with Choji, they tried to attack Sora again. However, he, along with the others, were only able to watch until the battle ended. Akatsuki Suppression Mission In the anime, he can be seen at Asuma's funeral mourning his death. Three Tails Appearance In the anime, Team 8, led by Kakashi, headed out to find one of Orochimaru's hidden bases. Due to the possibility of them encountering Sasuke, they were forbidden to tell Naruto about this mission. Kiba was more than determined to showcase his skills, as his other comrades did against the powerful enemies such as Akatsuki. When they arrived at the base, it soon began to collapse on itself. Because of Akamaru, they were able to escape in time and began looking for survivors. Kiba and Akamaru used their sense of smell to search the area, picking up on a high-pitched whistle. Although initially suspecting that the enemy might be using dogs, since normal people couldn't hear it, Kiba realized that it was an ultrasonic sound used only by bats, which were spying on them. With their location exposed, they were soon ambushed. Kiba and Akamaru attacked Norari, believing him to be the weakest member, but were quickly robbed of their sense of smell and vision by Kigiri's smokescreen. Letting Hinata take over since her Byakugan came in handy, he and Akamaru blew the smoke away with repeated fang-passing fangs. His team were then trapped within a large prison set by Guren. While inside, Kiba fought several clones of Guren until Naruto and the rest of Team 7 arrived to help them escape. Upon leading the others to Guren's location by following the bats, they were overwhelmed by a tidal wave created by the Three Tails. Having lost track of Guren and her forces, the team regrouped. A new mission was ordered to seal the beast, and three teams were formed with Kiba being added to Team 2, alongside Rock Lee and Tenten who were led by Yamato. When each team left to accomplish their tasks, Kiba explained to his current teammates about Goren's henchmen's abilities. Reaching the lake, the foes rose from the water. Though last to attack, Kiba finished them off with Fang passing Fang after marking them with Akamaru's scent to bypass the inconvenience of the smokescreen. Kiba later left with Yamato to help Kakashi's team. Unfortunately, the attempt of sealing the Three Tails failed. After learning that Naruto was inside of the Three Tails, Kiba was assigned the job of guarding the area from the attackers. With the enemies they faced earlier returning, they battled. To his surprise, their capabilities improved tremendously. With the enemy's new enhanced powers, Kiba along with the rest of the team were defeated and nearly killed, surviving by burying underground. After another failed attempt to capture the Three Tails, they retreated back, returning to the village under Tsunade's orders to formulate a new plan for dealing with the Three Tails. Itachi Pursuit Mission Later, Kakashi formed the eight-man squad, which Team Koronai then became part of in the hunt for Itachi Uchiha. When the mission was sidetracked due to them being close to Sasuke's trail, Kiba managed to pick up on Sasuke's scent after Kakashi's Ninken proved unable to. Faded Battle Between Brothers While on the way, the eight-man squad encountered Tobi of Akatsuki and proceeded to do battle with him. After Shino's attack missed, Kiba was the only one able to sense him and tried to hit him only to miss too. Embarrassingly, Tobi just stepped to the side to avoid him. They fought him together, but no one was able to land a single blow. Before Tobi disappeared with Zetsu, Kiba and the others noticed Tobi's Sharingan, to their shock. They started chasing both of them, but as soon as they arrived, Sasuke was already collected by them. Kiba told Naruto that there was still a little trace of Sasuke's scent, however, it was already too late. Because of this, the mission ended in a failure. Six Tails Unleashed after the mission to locate Itachi failed, the eight-man squad is intercepted on the way back to Konoha by Katsuyu, who had a new mission for Team Yamato. Team Koronai and Kakashi return to Konoha. Pain's Assault During the assault and the chaos created by Pain, Kiba was together with his teammates watching the disaster. Kiba then joined his mother in fighting the Preta Path because of the advantage he had on it thanks to his proficient taijutsu. The Preta Path flees. In the anime, before the Predapath escapes, Kiba and Akamaru use the dynamic marking so that they could track him. Before they leave, Kiba worries about the injured medical nin, but as Katsuyu tells him, she will take care of them. Sume and Kiba then continue chasing the path. Just as it was about to be caught, it was summoned away by the animal path so that Pain could use Shinra Tensei. Kiba, his mother, and their dogs were caught in the Shinra Tensei that destroyed the village. He appeared to have suffered significant injuries because of a giant column that is about to fall down on him. His mother told him to hang in there until help arrived. 
but he's able to get it off by pushing it away with his legs. He was later seen again with Katsuyu watching the battle of Naruto against Pain, noting that the Konoha ninja should just put their faith in Naruto. Kibo was next seen along with all his friends, thanking and celebrating Naruto's victory. 5 Kage Summit Afterwards, he was seen rushing to Naruto, Sakura, and Kakashi, informing them that Tsunade had been dismissed as the Hokage and that Danzo was now the acting 6th Hokage. He also informed them that Danzo had given permission for Sasuke to be disposed of as a missing nin. Kiba is then seen along with all his friends in a reunion, but because of Ino's crying over Sasuke's status as an international criminal, Kiba gets upset and tells her to stop. When Tenten defends Ino, he stands his ground and states that crying will not change the established facts, including that they must personally be the ones who end Sasuke for good to prevent a devastating international war, much to his and the others' dismay. As a request from Sakura, Kiba and Akamaru accompany her along with Sai and Rock Lee to the Land of Iron in order to search for Naruto and confront him. He comments to Lee that compared to Ino, Sakura looked so determined. Kiba also states that because this is a top secret mission, it is all on him to not only track Naruto, but also to make sure they're not being followed by root agents or other enemies. Kiba and the others immediately arrive in the Land of Iron and find Naruto for Sakura to speak with him. Kiba stays present in Sakura and Naruto's talking, but as promised to her, he or neither their friends would interfere. However, he became increasingly irritated by what Sakura was saying to Naruto, knowing full well that she was not telling Naruto the truth in their talk and that she lied about telling Naruto their plans about Sasuke, yet still did not speak against it. Kiba questioned Naruto about why Sasuke was with Akatsuki if Itachi already died, but received no straight answer at Kakashi's urging. He then quietly asked Sakura if they should tell Naruto the truth, but Sakura stomped his foot and announced they're returning home. Immediately after, Sakura asked Kiba for help with a new job, tracking Sasuke and going after him. However, he became angry that Sakura had been lying to Naruto despite her protests. He then proclaimed that she takes Naruto far too lightly before finding Sasuke and Tobi and telling Sakura their position. Kiba then became stunned at Sakura and Sai's betrayal as Sakura prepared to knock them out to fight Sasuke herself. Annoyed, he stepped back with Lee to allow the two of them to fight it out as Sai revealed Kakashi's orders for them to stop. Refusing to listen, Kiba attacked Sai with Lee, yet were quickly restrained by Sai's ink snakes. But before Kiba could free himself, they all got knocked out when Sakura took advantage of the situation to unleash powerful smoke bombs so that she could face Sasuke alone. Kiba and the others were soon found by Kakashi. Kiba, still barely conscious, told Kakashi which way Sakura went. Kakashi then moved the young ninja to a safer location before pursuing Sakura. Soon after being awakened, Kiba reproached how Sakura and Sai's actions enabled Sasuke to escape again. Opting to return to their village, they met up with the rest of the Konoha 11. Naruto then explained to them what happened at the summit. Acknowledging how Naruto practically became a legend after defeating Pain, Kiba believed Naruto let Sasuke slip away even though Naruto continuously denied the claim. Naruto also reinstated, much to the Konoha 11's discontent, that he was the only one allowed to fight Sasuke. Power In the anime, as one of the Konoha nin who came as backup for Team Kakashi, Kiba battled Kabuto's reincarnated ninja. Kiba retreated after Naruto's snake version clone went on a rampage. He later fights Kabuto's reincarnated shinobi once again. After the situation was taken care of, he and the others returned to their village. Fourth Shinobi World War, Confrontation Kiba, alongside Hana, Shino, and Ino, is placed in the 5th Division to fight in the 4th Shinobi World War, joking that if he does a great job, he might become Hokage. He is reprimanded by his sister, who tells him that he should not take the war so lightly. Kiba leaves with the rest of his division, but soon enough, Mifune sends him, along with other ninja, to back up Kitsuchi's division. As the Zetsu are taken from the earth, Kiba rushes along them alongside his sister, using his fang passing fang. After the first day of fighting, Kiba is seen alive with Akamaru, along with Shino, Hinata, and Neji. After night falls, Kiba, along with Neji, act as lookouts for enemy attacks. Neji later collapsed due to his overuse of his Byakugan. Worried, Kiba told him that he should visit the medic compound to get treatment, and that he would take over the watch. Neji, however, refuses to go, claiming that he was fine. Kiba told him that injuring himself on the battlefield wouldn't impress anyone, to which Neji retorted, telling him to shut up again but faced Akamaru when saying this. Kiba then tells him that his state was so bad that he isn't even capable of differentiating him from a dog. The next morning, Kiba and the other shinobi resumed fighting the White Zetsu army clones, amidst the confusion due to the latter's transformation and the infiltration into their ranks. 
During this time, he and Neji both fought their newly reincarnated opponents, Sakon and Ukon, and Kidomaru respectively. With the power he gained over the time skip, Kiba easily managed to destroy summoning Triple Rashomon and defeat Sakon and Ukon. However, Kiba, Neji, Shikamaru, and Choji were trapped in a strange technique that the Sound 4 unleashed before they could be sealed. Kiba's body was left in a comatose state while his soul was sent to a new location, where it would reanimate within a large barrier. Inside, the inhabitants are able to battle normally. However, the Sound 4 inform their enemies that in time, their actual body's halted chakra flow will eventually cause them to die. In addition, killing the Sound 4 will not undo the technique. Despite the initial sailmate, the Sound 4's enhanced curse seals grew even stronger from their accumulated malice, quickly overwhelming the Konoha ninja. Seeing that, Shikamaru begins to intentionally provoke them, knowing that Naruto's new senses would pick up on it. Eventually, Naruto finds them and breaks through the barrier, allowing Inoichi through a telepathic connection to release the technique and restore Kiba and the others to their bodies. Upon awakening, Kiba thanks Shino for his efforts in saving them. Later, calling out to Neji in the heat of battle, Kiba told him that Hinata was in trouble. Neji failed to save the nearest Hinata from an Iwanin, only to discover that Hinata was a white Zetsu clone. As Kiba continued toward the real Hinata, he chastised Neji for going the wrong way and told Neji to follow him. They arrived in time to see a Naruto clone save Hinata. He and Neji were initially suspicious of the clone because he smelled and looked different than before, hence why Kiba didn't notice him. Kiba criticized Neji for not mentioning Naruto sooner, but Neji claimed that even Naruto's chakra signature was different. Hinata convinced them that it was indeed Naruto, and Naruto then mobilized with them to finish off the rest of the White Zetsu clones. After being informed by Inoichi from HQ that Naruto and B were fighting the masked Madara, Kiba and the rest of the Konoha 11 rushed to his aid. As he runs, he states that he had marked Naruto as a rival a long time ago and that he should handle things there until he arrived. Fourth Shinobi World War, Climax Finally arriving on the battlefield, Kiba told Naruto not to start acting tough just because Hinata was there, after he echoed Hiyashi Hyuga's praise of the fact that Ino was able to veer the tailed beast ball off course. With that, Kiba and the other members of the allied shinobi forces stood to face their opposition. Later, as the alliance's counterattack was launched, Kiba and Akamaru are buffeted by the Tentails, who had just reached maturity and was emerging from the hole that had been trapped in. This caused Kiba to exclaim that the situation was getting frightening. After learning of Neji's death, Kiba later stood alongside Choji and Ino and was shocked by Choji's rapid gain of weight after receiving Kurama's chakra. He later caught Ino after she performed the mind-body switch technique on Obito Uchiha, surrounded by his own veil of Kurama's chakra, and asked Ino if she was okay, to which she confirmed after she regained consciousness. Kiba and Akamaru later charged at the Uchiha and the Tentails, where their combined effort was enough to sever Madara and Obito's connection to the beast and force them to retreat to the ground. Kiba was later shocked by Minato's appearance on the battlefield and later Sasuke's. He and the other Konoha 11 shinobi surrounded Sasuke, and Kiba asked what he was doing here. When Sasuke declared that he was going to be Hokage, Kiba chastised Sasuke, asking him what he thought the title of Hokage was. With the reunion of Team 7, Kiba yelled that he will be the one to become Hokage. Shino declared that nobody was listening to him due to Sasuke's words having made too big of an impact. He then rushed towards the Ten Tails with his friends. Not to be outdone by Team 7, Kiba led his team forward, revealing that he can perform the Shadow Clone technique. Naruto saw it as no big deal as he was able to do it years ago, but then he observed that the clone, Akamaru, and Kiba himself had transformed into a giant three-headed wolf. In his transformed state, Kiba performed the tail-chasing fang, fang-rotating fang technique, completely ripping apart rows upon rows of Ten Tails clones apart. He then witnessed Naruto and Sasuke's combined attack on the Ten Tails as he urged them on. Birth of the Ten Tails Jinchuriki With the situation looking grim as the Alliance was trapped in a barrier with a tailed beast ball firing tree, Kiba and the other shinobi soon found themselves shrouded in the previous version 1 mantles again. He and the others subsequently found themselves on the outside of the barrier, escaping the near fatal attack thanks to Naruto and Minato's action. The ever-competitive Kiba was irritated by the fact that Naruto could achieve such a feat even though Hinata tried to explain the situation to him. As Obito unleashes the tree form of the Ten Tails, it begins decimating the battlefield, killing countless ninja. Hashirama Senju has Ino Yamanaka link everyone up telepathically to try and rally them. While Hashirama's words fail to inspire anyone, Naruto's Senjutsu-enhanced tailed beast mode combined with Ino's telepathy causes his emotions and personal memories to be transferred to everyone. Kiba is surprised to see how much Naruto is still affected by failing to bring Sasuke back from their mission three years ago. 
When Shikamaru later recovered, Kiba rebuffed Shikamaru's statement of becoming Naruto's advisor, believing that Shikamaru would become his if he takes the position of Hokage himself. Responding when Naruto called for them telepathically, Kiba, the other Konoha 11 shinobi, and Sai are shocked when Naruto's tailed beast mode mantle forms around them as well, when he enters one of Kurama's tails. With his directives clear, Kiba and the others used the Rasengan, which Naruto had formed to break down Obito's defense and give Sasuke and Naruto a clear shot at attacking their opponent. Kiba and the others who had all reverted to their version 1 mantles aid Naruto and the others in wresting the tailed beast's chakra from Obito's control, as Kiba boldly stated that Naruto wanted to help them, so they would do so until the very end. Though they are able to defeat Obito, another threat soon arose as Kiba and the rest of the Alliance was confronted by Tobi, who overwhelmed them with a massive animate statue. As the Alliance struggled against this new threat, Kiba smelled Naruto close by. Realizing Naruto was in danger, he asked Hinata to take a closer look with her Byakugan. Later, the revived Madara, now the Ten Tails Jinchuriki, finally casts his infinite Tsukiyomi on the world, making Kiba one of his victims. Inside the Genjutsu, Kiba dreams of being Hokage and decides to make a holiday for dogs. Kageya Otsotsuki Strikes Later, Kiba and the rest of the world were freed from the Genjutsu by Naruto and Sasuke after they ended the war. Kakashi Hiden, Lightning in the Icy Sky Kiba is part of the team of Konoha Ninja assigned to provide security at the Blood Prison. When the Ryuha Armament Alliance stages a prison break, Kiba helps round up the escaped prisoners. The last, Naruto the movie. Kiba makes an appearance in this film, set two years after the war. He is seen amongst Naruto's fans eating ramen with Shino at Ichiraku. Kiba and Shino were later seen evacuating villagers from the meteorites breaking off from the moon, though he seemed rather upset about the fact that no one was appreciating his efforts. He and the others later celebrated after hearing the worldwide announcement of the moon crisis being averted, along with many other villagers. In the novel, his role during the movie was further explained, stating how Kiba was extremely depressed about the fact that his name wasn't on the list of those selected for the mission to rescue Hanabi, even though he was one of the most suited for the mission due to his keen sense of smell. Though Kiba was put on the life-saving team in the village by the 6th Hokage, giving him the mission of quickly finding and saving the people who were buried under the rubble of buildings, which was also a mission only he could do due to his keen senses, and Kiba fulfilled it with all his might. Kiba went running around the village with Akamaru, saving many people's lives and even protecting Ichiraku Ramen. Furthermore, he refused to take refuge in shelters and instead stayed outside to help the people who still believed that tomorrow was going to come, even boasting about how if any meteorite came falling towards them, he'd destroy it with his new jutsu, though nobody was able to hear the name of it when he finally used it since the sound of the meteorite being destroyed had been too loud. Konoha Hiden, the perfect day for a wedding. As the rest of his friends began searching for a wedding present for Naruto and Hinata, Kiba and Akamaru united with Shino to find the best wedding present but realized they cannot collaboratively decide on a gift and request the aid of Koronai. While at her house, Kiba constantly corrects the toddler Mirai about what his and Akamaru's names are, as she calls them Kibamaru and Akakiba, respectively, as Kuranai convinces them to get the newlyweds Mead of the Senju clan. Kiba, however, immediately reminds Kuranai that neither Naruto or Hinata drink alcohol, but he is convinced when Kuranai tells him that Mead can be used for cooking purposes and that it has low alcohol in it. Kuranai informed them that only Soraku had it and requested that they pick some Mead up for her as well. While at Soraku, Kiba and Akamaru are harassed by the Ninako Momo and many others, instigating Kiba into a humorous chase. However, Tamaki's presence diffuses the situation and puts Kiba in a love-struck stupor. As Kiba proceeds to successfully woo Tamaki, he is reminded of his mission but continues his own personal mission. As Tamaki leads them to the enigmatic beekeeper, Kiba doesn't notice the dirty looks that the Ninako give him for his relationship with Tamaki. Upon arriving to their destination, Tamaki warns him that the bamboo forest and its fog are magical in nature and those who enter never leave, but Kiba once again boasts his abilities, giving her ease. With her departure, Shino and Akamaru both humorously tease Kiba about his obvious deep infatuation for the cat lover. Inside the bamboo forest, Kiba, Akamaru, and Shino quickly realize they are going in circles, and as Akamaru disappeared, Kiba began to panic and runs into the fog without thinking. Hours later, Kiba saw through the purpose of the magic fog, and he escapes with Akamaru only to realize that Shino has been free for hours and has already retrieved the mead, embarrassing him. As they leave, Shino theorizes that Kiba escaped due to his love for Tamaki, and once again teased him about it. During the wedding, Kiba boasts about how he and Shino's present is the best among the gifts, 
but as he's asked about it, he realizes he knows nothing about Mead and looks like an idiot. He quickly pressures Kurenai to educate him on the Mead to seem intelligent, but he doesn't really pay attention to her lessons as he tries to stop Mirai from riding Akamaru and attempts to make her get their names right for once. Rai no Sho. During his many walks with Akamaru, Kiba noticed a young girl with a dog and tried to flirt with her, only to fail miserably. Annoyed, Kiba told Akamaru to mark their territory all over the park, exclaiming that any girl who dumped him would regret their choice once he became 7th Hokage. When he heard two other girls admiring the future 7th, he assumed they were talking about him, only to realize they were looking at Naruto, who was on a date with Hinata, much to his annoyance and depression since he didn't have a girlfriend yet. Later, Kiba went off alone to meet a vet in order to get sleeping pills for Akamaru's immunization shots. However, he didn't realize Akamaru had followed him and noticed him with the girl, so he had to hold Akamaru down for his much-hated shots. As they began another walk, Kiba ran into Tamaki and the two had an immediate strong mutual attraction to each other. As Kiba walked with her, he was stopped by Akamaru, who fruitlessly tried to drag him away from her in a fit of overprotectiveness. New Era in the following years, Kiba began living with Tamaki as lovers, who moved to Konoha, where the two have many cats and dogs as pets. His talents for raising animals became well known and recognized as the top breeder, even becoming a promoter for various products on TV. At some point, he joined the Konoha military police force and became regarded as an outstanding investigator for the organization. Konoha Shinden, Steam Ninja Scrolls Kiba and Tamaki attend the Coral Festival to visit the local hot springs. While arguing over which hot spring to visit first, they were quickly recognized by the townspeople for their respective reputations as animal breeders. Kiba quickly enjoyed all the praise he was getting from the dog lovers, which began to cause a rift between Kiba and Tamaki, as both began getting competitive as the town over which animal was better. The two were later approached by Mirai Sarutobi, who was acting as bodyguard for Guy and Kakashi. Wanting to help the couple, but seeing Kiba was too caught up on all his fans, Mirai gave Tamaki an apology letter disguised as written by Kiba. The effort backfired from her lack of understanding in cats, which Kiba would have, causing Tamaki to join the cat-loving villagers in a fight against the dog lovers. Mirai then used a genjutsu in the form of a cat-dog spirit to calm the townspeople, making them think it was a sign to stop fighting. With the feud over, Kiba and Tamaki made up, deciding to go to one of the hot springs as they originally wanted. Later, it was revealed that Kiba was helping in an investigation of missing girls from the land of hot water by helping Kakashi and Guy gather intel. Byakuya Gang Arc Upon robbers attacking Konohagakurai Central Department Store, Lee and Kiba quickly stopped them. After their arrest, Konoha TV interviewed them, leading him to saying he's just won over more female fans. Later, when the Byakuya Gang began gaining support from several villagers, the citizens began acting out against companies accused of corrupt actions. Kiba joined his fellow ninja in working to pacify the situation at the entrance of the Kaminariman Company. Ultimately, it was discovered that several of the protesters were under Genjutsu. Kiba helped in dispelling the Genjutsu. This, along with Naruto's speech, was able to peacefully end the riots. Naruto Shinden, Parent and Child Day Kiba, along with Akamaru and Akemaru, met Naruto and Himawari Uzumaki outside the opening of a toy store, where they all looked to purchase a limited edition Korama doll. Kiba hoped to surprise Tamaki with the gift as he joined Naruto in the rush of the store opening, but both failed in finding the doll. Kiba suggested he and Naruto split up and search other stores so they could hopefully find a doll for Himawari. Naruto was unsuccessful in his search, but Kiba did succeed in finding the last toy in a kiosk. They realized the toy was stolen whilst Akamaru was in possession of it, and Naruto gave chase to the culprit, who was successfully detained. Versus Momoshiki Arc Kiba later watched the Chunin exams in Konoha, beside Tamaki and Akamaru. Time Slip Arc In the anime, after Kiba and Shino stopped a shoplifter from escaping, they bumped into Boruto and Sarada, who were hoping to find the Icha Icha books by Jiraiya in hopes of understanding his influence on Naruto. Concerned about such young kids reading such an adult book, the older ninja tried to get them off the topic by telling them from his own experience the kind of man Jiraiya was. When that failed, they simply told the kids that they were too young to read the books. Later, when Urashiki Yotsotsuki was spotted in the area, Kiba joined several other Konoha Nin in pursuing him. However, this turned out to be a diversion by the alien who placed a genjutsu on them to let him sneak back into the village. Meanwhile, the grown-up Sasuke and Boruto were sent back in time to shortly after Sasuke's defection. There, the two pretended to be traveling performers, but were put under watch by Naruto, during which, past Kiba and his friends helped Boruto and Naruto clean up a bathhouse after the commotion Naruto and Jiraiya caused. 
Days later, Konohamaru, Moegi, and Udon approached Kiba and his friends for help, telling how Naruto and Boruto were battling a dangerous foe. They quickly agreed to help. By the time they arrived, however, Urashiki was already defeated. The group then escorted their injured friends to the hospital. Days later, after Sasuke and Boruto recovered and prepared to return to their time, Sasuke first used his Sharingan to erase the memories of everyone he and Boruto came into contact with to protect the timeline. Kara Actuation Arc In the anime, after learning about Kara and how there could be a spy in the village, Naruto met with Kiba and other officials on whether or not they should close the gates to the village. Kiba noted that the train system was an easy way for a spy to move about. Ao Arc in the anime, Kiba attended the memorial service for the fallen people of the 4th Shinobi World War. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.